I'm very sure that all of you can agree that Black War Greymon is without a doubt, hands down, one of the coolest Digimon ever. And I'm super happy that we finally got new support from BT8 and that is exactly what we'll be covering for today's video. Hello Digimon players and fans, welcome back to another Digimon deck profile and in-depth building guide video. The new Awakening set gave us an entire Black War Greymon Digivolution line that supports dual colors of black and red. And I'm just super happy that we finally got a competitive and viable strategy for this particular Digimon in the format. The strategy mainly focuses on a control playstyle by deleting your opponent's Digimon. However, there are both colors of accessibility, which are red and black, which means that there's actually few ways you can approach when building this deck. So I actually decided to opt in for the red base as starters because it's known to be more consistent with searching, digivolving, and red provides a more aggression playstyle which really suits my personal taste. The win condition is to combine the deleting and controlling effects along with the powerful security checks both at the same time and to gain advantage throughout the game. If you're still confused, don't worry because there's also going to be a strategy and combo segment of how to play this deck after the deck profile as well, so definitely stick around for that. However, I've been experimenting and exploring a potential of different ideas, making a black base version of this deck as well, and I really want to make it work. So if you guys are just as excited and interested, definitely subscribe and turn on that notification bell right now to stay tuned. We got lots more BT8 deck profiles and content coming right up and I just can't wait to share all of them with you. Also, please give this video a like as it just really, really helps. Now with that out of the way, let's get right into the deck profile. All right, Digi8 cards. We first have the four copies of Koromon from BT5 and then the one copy of the Gurimon from BT8. Koromon is just simply really great draw power. Both these eggs are basically draw power, essentially helping you draw cards. And red doesn't really have too much draw power generally, so this is why these five eggs are really, really important so that we can get more cards, basically. Uh, if you guys want more consistency, you can go for four Koromons and just one less Gurimon and just play four eggs instead. But I like the five. It always feels nicer so that you can do more things when later in the game when need to be. Start off with our brand new Agumon with our rookies we play the three copies of the black Agumon right here This is basically your key searcher of the deck It helps you grab a dragon kin as well as a Greymon, which is fantastic And yeah, you definitely need to max out four copies of this because searching is just so important and I definitely like consistency when it comes to searching now since we're talking about searching we got even more searching we got another Agumon right here this one's from the BT5 one and once again, you get to review uh, the top three for this one. You get to add one Greymon, and then you get to also add one Omnimon uh, into your hand as well. So that's actually fantastic with this one. So you just want to do more searching. So yeah, that's really it. So the next two Agumons are going to be more power related Agumons instead of searching. So we have the four copies of the Digivest, Digifest slash promo Agumon, which you could have gotten very early on. And we also have the two copies of the starter deck one Agumons. Both of them provide inheritables of increasing your DP by a tremendous amount or a good amount so that you can swing over stuff, which is really, really important for your top end to in order to basically defeat your opponent's Digimon. This Agumon with the promo one gives 2,000 as long as it's Greymon and its name. And then this one's all turns uh, from the starter deck one, extra 1,000 DP consistently. And yeah, power is definitely really crucial. And these are the two Agumons you always want to be digivolving 100%. Now to round off for our final rookie right here, we still have one more Agumon. This Agumon is basically the promo one from the uh, dash pack 0. Point, or promo 0. 0 pack right here. This one on play, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less. And uh, rarely we would just want to hard play this for its actual five cost, which is really expensive, but sometimes it might come in handy. We actually want to play this by an effect, which is basically Nokia, where we will get into it later on. But then uh, sometimes you can also Digivolve this for zero, which is also really, really nice. And yeah, very handy, nice one off tech card. So that's it for our rookies. Let's move on to our champions. So starting off with the very brand new 
Greymon right here. We have this black Greymon. I find it really cool how this is only just a 5 cost, but also has 6,000 DP, which is really strong. It just simply offers one simple inheritable uh, where, you know, if there is a Digimon that is uh, on play while it's red, you basically, this Digimon gains blocker. Now that's really good because it helps your top end to become blocker so you can have some defensive capabilities. But also not mainly that, it's because it's capability of being able to digivolve on top of a red or black level 3, which is also really really good. There's a lot of mix and matching with red and black in this deck, that's what it mainly focuses on and yeah, this is why this grey one is really good too. Next up, we have 4 copies of the starter deck. Greymon right here as well. This one gives the inheritable of security plus one. Always really, really good. It gives you extra power, gives you aggression, and I do like the consistency of an aggressive playstyle generally, especially when it comes to this deck so that we can win faster and win harder, which is why I would maximize four copies out for this guy right here. Next, we do also have other two Greymons. I would try to bump this up to three if possible, but Space is just very tight in this deck generally. I have spent time and time trying to figure out the best ratios, so I have to come down and, you know, let myself go and basically come up with two of this one. But this one is just really good because it helps you reduce Digivolve cost. Actually, it doesn't reduce Digivolve cost. This helps you gain a memory back when you Digivolve on top of an Agumon. Once again, it gives you extra 2000 DP as an inheritable, making your Greymon top and really, really strong and really, really powerful. And when this card can just basically help you turbo out your Digivolution very quickly to get into your top end very, very fast. So that's basically all it for our Greymons, but we still have two more cards for our level four, which we have right here is two Cyclone Mons. Cyclone Mons is a dual color where it's red and black, can Digivolve on top of a level three red or black, which is really, really good. But also we play for its inheritable, deleting a opponent's Digimon when attacking that is 2000 DP or less, which really comes in handy, getting rid of rookies, getting rid of small things that we need to. Also combos very well with the core strategy of this deck, especially when it comes to with our Black War Greymon. So that's Cyclone Mon right here. That's it for our level fours. Let's move into our ultimates, which are our level fives. We first play the four copies of the brand new Metal Greymon. Once again, half black, half red right here. This one is expensive to Digivolve. It costs four. And um, costing four, but it does a lot of things as you guys can see, which is really, really advantageous when you do play him. Usually you want to Digivolve this guy in the battle area so you can actually utilize its when Digivolving effect, where it de-Digivolves one of your opponent's Digimon, and then afterwards, you can delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less. It does two things, which is fantastic. But not only that, it's inheritable is really really good your turn while this digimon has dragon kin or machine and its traits you can also attack your opponent's unsuspended digimon this basically is a very powerful level five which helps you basically play the control game and you're always able to constantly delete your opponent's digimon and control the board right there very 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 easily with this card and you gotta play four copies 100 percent the only downside like i mentioned is a four cost which is relatively expensive for a level five but next up we also have another metal greymon we got one of the ex1 uh, metal Greymon right here. When attacking, you get to delete something that's 4,000 DP or less from your opponent, but also mainly we play it for its inheritable, which gives it uh, basically piercing. So our Black War Greymon or our top end will gain piercing, which is very nice and very handy. Initially, I had played with two copies of this card and I kind of like it too, because being able to swing over suspended stuff and do damage at the same time is actually very, very nice and I really like it. And I, But once again, like I mentioned, deck space is so tight, I just got to cut this down to one essentially. And I, it's a very difficult choice, but this is what I have and this is what I prefer so far. Because next up, we need to make space for two copies of Chimera Mons. Chimera Mon is just so, so good and so strong. Often enough, do have two level fours on the board for you to DNA Digivolve into this guy right here. And then you basically get to slide in something from your trash into its sources, allowing you to build up the even stronger stack and making your Black War Greymon or your top end even better than it can potentially even normally be. This is why Chimera Mon is just that good and that strong and that powerful of a Digimon that you must include in this deck and the two of is a perfect uh, ratio copy for it. That's it for our level fives. Let's finally showcase you guys our level sixes with our boss Digimon right here. We play the four copies of the brand new 
black war gray mon from bt8 right here this two right here is just the alt art just so you guys know i really want to try to max rarity this guy right here i want to find two more copies but you know for the sake of getting the video out for you guys as soon as possible let's just go with this for now but honestly showcase you guys i love both artworks a lot i have an opinion which may be slightly be less popular where i actually kind of like the original art a little bit more than the alt art but just because i like the pose a bit more but anyways both arts are fantastic my favorite digimon out here is definitely black war gray mon so we basically have to play four copies of anyways it, you basically need to play four copies to have this deck to function anyways does a whole lot of things once again when digivolving if this digimon has a red digivolution source you get to choose your opponent's digimon if it has black sources you can choose tamers then you basically delete uh, a total of either tamers or digimon that total the cost up to six or less essentially so for example if you have uh, a black source underneath and your opponent has two tamers that are three costs each you can basically delete those two tamers or if your opponent has like two digimon that's three costs you can delete both of those digimon or you can do one or the other or you can even just pop straight up a digimon that has six costs or less i think they could have bumped this effect a little bit higher to seven costs in total but maybe because they you know if they do so it might be way too powerful and really strong because it has a secondary effect because all turns once per turn when the opponent's digimon is deleted you get to unsuspend this digimon now keep in mind guys it's actually an errata for this card and i'll post the link to the errata for you guys the main difference is that it says you may so you get to have the option and it's not mandatory anymore as the effect allowing you to have the flexibility to choose which is really really important when it comes to certain plays and certain situations because if it becomes mandatory you can very easily miss the opportunities to do something that you want to do and play it differently but that's basically black war greymon we have to play four copies of and this is your powerhouse how you control the board and control the field and the battle area while playing this card Next up, we actually have one more War Greymon right here. We got the classic BT1 right here, where when did you evolving gets security plus one and it basically is a adp on legs uh, which is really good at countering especially uh, the yellow matchup in this current format lots of the security is extremely strong with yellow hybrid as well currently is being viable and really strong so this is the war i definitely like to have to play uh there's a lot of options when it comes to other the war Greymons, but for now i like to stick to this one and i'm probably going to be exploring the other ones and i'll do an update of a different version sometime down the road with the different black war Greymons we could be Playing, but this is what we have five megas is all we need next up we have two blitz armies once again i really like the aggressive style or i personally just like the aggressive play style more this deck is very controlly but at the same time i want to be able to win a bit faster which is why i really want to opt in into two blitz armies right here blitz army is just really really good because it helps you end game surprises your opponent and sometimes they don't even see it coming and that's basically why you got to play the two blitz armies so that's it for all of our digimon now let's talk about our tamers we first off have three marcus davins right here just synergizes so well with the Greymon line, allowing you to gain memory. You know, gaining memory means more plays, more plays, more cards, more combos, and then more advantage, which makes you very, very strong. Not only that, it sets your memory at three. I have been testing the BT1 tie that gives you security plus one as well. That also combos very nicely with the aggression, but I have a lot of aggressive uh, default play style in the deck build generally already. I think Marcus Damon just you know makes it a little bit better for this but i will experiment with the tie as well and let you guys know with the updated version when i want to do a different type of build but next up we have four nokias you have to play four nokias this is a tribal deck everything is greymon everything is agumon and omnimon related you can reduce costs like crazy with her and you basically combo so well with all your agumons because you constantly on play on play on play and you get so many on play effects where you basically get to do a whole bunch of searching with that and it's just that good basically so this is why you got to play four copies of nokia's 100 percent that's basically all the tamers right here and then last but not least we got the two options the next new best option i ever think the better version of gaia force is dark gaia force not only this can help you uh pop any digimon that's 15 costs or less uh you can also just pop wide boards you can you know accumulate costs up to 15 which is really really good and it's just that versatile so many digimon out there are just 15 costs or less generally and it's already good enough i feel like and then with its security effect is just amazing you get to pop anything that's 15 costs or less i really like this card really cool really love the artwork not only that but just how good and how versatile this 
uh, Dark Guy of course really is. So that's it for the options too. And that's it for the deck profile. So now that we got the deck profile completed, let's show you guys sort of like the base strategy guide of how you want to approach and play this deck with its control style. There isn't really like a fancy combo per se uh, with this deck because it's just a very easy piloting control type of deck style where you just want to slowly build up to your board and then basically make your plays bit by bit from there. But once I show you guys, you guys will get what I mean. Usually, okay, let's just start by hatching your egg. You always want to prioritize digivolving these type of Agumons on on top of it and sort of growing your stack right there if you can while doing so as early as you can in the early stages of the game you want to play the searching agumons whether it's this one the black one or the bt5 one where, whenever you can but in tandem to while doing so if you don't want to hard play them try to play as many nokias as you can so nokia will allow you to give you value allowing you to play them for free and then you can do your searching from there and as you search you just grab your combo pieces you'll grab your gray mons your your uh, metal gray mons and your black world gray mons and so on and you will get to build your stack slowly from that way if you're feeling a little bit more aggressive and risky you can go ahead and push them up so that you can utilize nokia to reduce the digivolution costs uh for your uh, as you're building your stack essentially and this is when you want to start to have your metal Greymon in the battle area when you're about to digivolve into it so you can pop your opponent's stuff de-digivolve something and basically go from there make sure you have your black war Greymon ready to go the next turn as well so then once you go into your black war Greymon, you can basically start controlling the board from there and popping even more things and then do your aggressive swings you have security plus one which does gives it extra damage which is really nice you can swing over a digimon first and then unsuspend via its effect you can swing over and unsuspend a digimon with the metal graymon as well which is fantastic your extra 2000 dp coromon gives you draw one you know this is sort of like the basic combo i guess if we per have to say and then you want to basically continue swinging into your opponent's security, take them down, and then go ready for game when you can and apply pressure that way. It's not super fast, not super ultra aggressive, but it's not super slow either. So it's kind of mid-range and a mid-pace type of combo or strategy in terms of playing this deck. Now let's talk about another combo approach, how you can sort of build into your Black War Greymon, which is with the use of the Chimeramon combo, I like to call it. Now, since you hard play these guys all the time, they're always floating there. So if you have extra level fours, don't be afraid of digivolving them on top of each other, giving you some extra draws. And you can set up some level fours like this with a Greymon, two Greymons essentially. And when you have two level fours on the board, this is where you go for your Chimera. Uh, Chimeramon combo you basically stack one on top of the other very nicely like this and then you basically go into your Chimeramon control the board once again with its DP reduction uh, effect but also you get to slide something in let's just say you slide in this Agumon right here to give it a very nice inheritable but anything that has a decent inheritable will do and will work and then your Chimeramon's ready to go it's free which is fantastic let's just say you, you can even slide in this metal Greymon underneath if you want to and then you finally go on top into your black war Greymon once again popping stuff and you control and you have a very strong powerful black war Greymon with a little bit of an extra inheritable for you to complete that same step while trying to go to Towards your win condition so that's basically wrapping up sort of like the strategy guide of how you want to play this deck slash like a mini combo to showcase all of you right here that will conclude for my very own deck building strategy and in-depth guide for the black war Greymon deck for bt8 if you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful please give it a like if you guys have any suggestions recommendations or questions be sure to share them with everyone in the comments down below. We got lots more deck profiles, like I said, coming up. So definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell to stay tuned. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day, great night, wherever you are. See you in the next video. And this is about signing.